So hey guys, just arrived in Durham uh, the night before the game and the Gary O'Neill press conference has just taken place. Here are the main points and anything that you might have missed from that. First off on Wang Hee Chan, uh, it's confirmed that uh, Wang will not be available for the game um, and more assessment is needed. He's hoping it's minor and that he won't be out for too long. He's had it that he knew that some players were at risk uh, for the game in midweek, but uh, Wang felt fine. All his recovery stuff had gone well and he thought he was able and ready to go again, but this is how things like this can happen. He's also gone on to talk about Newcastle and said how they have also suffered because of injuries and added that they are coming back. For example, Alexander Isaac uh, being back is massive plus for them, so they will be a threat. Uh, they are a good side and will return to form. We face Newcastle side that we know will be dangerous. On the progress that Wolves have made this game, he said he's extremely happy. Every single player in the squad has been extremely proud of what they've been managing to produce. Uh, we know how small the squad is he said we spent a lot of the season without key players and they have continued to surprise people throughout the season i'm looking forward to seeing how we respond to another challenge against newcastle o'neill also went on to say the squad have done a lot of work every day about how important it is to be together and they have pushed people every day to remind them of the standards in everything that they do how they respond to disappointment and not allowing people to go off on their own and show disconnect from the team asked about uh, setting a high bar this season he said he wants the bar to be set high and understand that you can fall below it and it is failing but fa falling below a bar that has been set is not a problem it's how you do it uh, and how you go about it if we failed against brighton given what we gave that would have been acceptable to him when asked about how difficult it will be to keep it up, he said the expectation is to see Wolves win the FA Cup and finish in Europe, then this will be the toughest part of the season for sure. We need to push and do more than we have done so far and we will be tested every week against good sides. Finally, he added that that is a challenge. None of us want to sit here and think, oh yeah, we've got 38 points, that's great. 38 might keep us up, so let's have a chill out and everyone can tell us how good we've been. Uh, we were in the first five months. That's not where we are. We keep pushing for every game to see where we can get and we're going to enjoy it. Anyway, that's the main points from the press conference. Uh, aside from that, obviously the injuries, there doesn't seem to be any other injuries, but obviously it'll be all about the recovery. Um, Wolves having to, with, as he said, with a small squad, having two games in quick turnaround. So it'll be interesting to see who does make the starting lineup and who is on the bench. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you do subscribe because we have something new coming over the weekend something coming back a watch along which you're going to you're going to be wanting to uh, be subscribed and have that bell notification if you've enjoyed this video please uh, smash it a like let youtube know that you enjoy it and uh, yeah we've had a very very long journey up here to uh, to durham but not as long as our mate manny uh, the weather's been absolutely horrible we can have a hot chocolate and go and take a little bit of break and then we're out for a nice thai meal later until the next one which will be tomorrow. Lots of content coming around the game. Always Wolves.